Welcome back students. In this lesson, we will see how to merge two arrays in a single array. So let us consider array like this and the other array is also given. The third array will be combination of both the arrays like this. Let us go to program. We will create a class. To take inputs, I will write import statement. Public static y main of string of arguments throws io exception. Let me create object for buffer reader. To take the array, let us take the size first. So I am giving intimation to give the size system dot out dot print line of enter the size of first array. So I will make it print. Let us consider name of the array as x. So that length of that array we will give xl. So int xl is equal to integer dot parse int of br dot read line of. Now let us create a array integer type x is the name of the array is equal to new int of the size is xl we will ask the user to enter the elements of that array so system dot out dot print line of enter elements for the array So we have to take a for loop for this for int i is equal to 0 i is lesser than xl i plus plus. So we can give x of i is equal to integer dot parse int of br dot read line of in the terminator. So now we have to take the second array. We will repeat the process. So I will copy and just make the changes. So enter the size of second array here. And then let us have y as the length. Here also y. So yl will be the length of the array. y will be the name of that array. So enter the elements for array. Then here we will have yl. Then also here yl. Now we need a third array to combine both the above arrays. So length of the array will be length of both together. So we will create int z of is equal to new int of. So that is length of x array plus length of y array. Otherwise, we can also do like that zl is equal to these two together we can assign. So, 
so now we can write here only zl so zl is the length of the array z we will write integer here now we will copy the elements of first array to the third array so we will write for loop for int i is equal to 0 the length of the first array will be excel so until that whatever the element is available we will put it in z first so i is lesser than excel then i plus plus so z of i will have the value of x of i so all the values of x array will put it into z now so after this we will have another array for int i is equal to so now we have already put all the elements of x into z the last index of x will be the beginning index of next for loop so that y's value will be added in the next index so we will initialize i as xl and then i is lesser than zl then i plus plus so now what we do we will say z of i is equal to y of j i take so here again we can't take i because i's value is starting from the excel so we will take a new variable called j then we will declare and initialize it so how do we declare in for loop itself we can do so that is j is equal to 0 and then we will say here j plus plus so value at z of i will be the first value of y's element so now we have merged both the arrays let us just print the a new array which is z so for int i is equal to 0 i is lesser than zl i plus plus system dot out dot print of z of i plus we can give one tab space otherwise some space one space i'll give this is printing in the same line we will give the new line after this so that new output will be in the fresh line so i think we have already closed the method and class let us check once so here we have taken the input while copying let us see whether we changed everything this is fine this is fine this is fine okay see here we supposed to write y of i so that is the second array and then so this is correct so this is for the third array so let us compile this no syntax error so we can run now enter the size of first array i give 4 the value is 10 20 30 40 then enter the size of second array i give 5 i give 12 14 16 18 20 so you can see that both the arrays are combined together Thank you students.